Oh, these carrots are divine. You get a dozen for a dime. It's tragic. It's tragic. Throw me a couple. I'm going to throw me a couple points in this motherfucker tonight. Bet I fall better tonight. <sighs> what the fuck is going on? Mic check, one, two, one, two. Mic check, one, two, one, two. Smack, you ready? Mook, you ready, nigga? Y'all remember that? Y'all remember that? Peace to you, Gully. Thank you. The cloud chasing is real. Maliki Amadeen. Maliki. Malik means king, I believe. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Shout out to Mendici, my um, sponsor for this here video. Mendici, you locked up. <clears throat> I'm about to attach myself to Leak. I'm about to attach my. I'm about to attach myself to Leak's soul. Just give me a minute. Malik. Malik, Malik, Malik. I was just thinking about you, Malik. You and old King earned it the other day. Remember a few years back, we was all feuding, me, you. We had this shit shaking. <laughs> me, you, Alpo, Shady, King Earner, Miss T. Paparazzi Poe, the imposter. Y'all remember that? Y'all remember we had this shit shaking. This shit was shaking for like two, three years. <laughs> I was thinking about y'all. Yep, I was thinking about y'all. I was wondering what you bum ass niggas doing these days. <laughs> I was wondering what you bum ass niggas doing these days. And then you showed up. And it confirmed my speculation. You out here, you out here still in Cadillac converters like them junkies. <laughs> My nigga, take my time with this nigga. Take my time with the surgery. Y'all ready? Malik, your name means king. You're black. And you were led to believe that your complexion made you inferior. But you were misled. Malik, you're a king. You're a black king. You got more pure blood than a lot of us in this chat. Right?
rulers, scientists, etc. Yet, whenever you get in front of somebody's motherfucking camera, you wants to look like the neighborhood mechanic. And you just you just can't grow out of it. You just can't grow out of it, man. You one of them niggas that got the pig pen syndrome. You just like pig pen from the Peanuts gang. A rock, a walking, rolling. <laughs> This nigga's a tumbleweed. <laughs> hey, <yo. laughs> I, didn't, I couldn't come up with nothing better, man. This nigga's a tumbleweed, man. This nigga's a tumbleweed, yo. Listen. This nigga had the audacity. I ain't going to get on you tonight, Malik, because you're black like me, and black means you're gifted and brilliant. So we going to, I'm going I'm to, but we, what we going to do talk about, what we are going to talk about is, what you said about Mikey T, what you said about Mikey T, you said, uh, I don't want to call it extortion, but he doing something to us. I just don't know what it is. You know what it is. You want me to tell you what it is, Malik? He's trimming you niggas. That's the word for it. That's the proper word. He's trimming you niggas. He is. He is. Ooh, we. Ooh we you said it you said it yourself for some few years, especially after I went to jail. That's all he put out with OBH videos, but he never sent my brother no money or nothing. In the process of that, in the process of that, he called you jealous, bum, scrub, dirty, dirt bag, and a whole bunch of other shit. And you said, um, oh Mikey T, Gully TV, they just bloggers. They don't, that shit don't bother me. You said it don't bother you, right? Is it better? Can y'all hear me now? Because I get back on this motherfucker. Can you hear me now? I'm going to give y'all a sec. We good now? Okay. All right. Yeah, um, Leek. You said that you're not bothered by things that's bestowed upon you by bloggers. First off... I ain't a blogger. If you Google my name, they, they got me labeled as a hip hop artist. That's because I got writing credits on Pillmatic, the album. Register with ASCAP. Doing my thing. I'm in my first movie. It dropped next month. You already know about the book. The resume, you already know about that. Um, let's talk about Mikey T, though. Let's talk about Mikey T. And how he treating you niggas. Let's talk about how Mikey T been treating you niggas for the last few years. He probably deserve it. He probably deserve everything that he got coming to him because after all, you jumped on him and shit. You was down there rolling around on the ground with him. You was. You looked comfortable rolling around in the dirt, just like a tumbleweed. That's what you remind me of. Um, you just, I don't know what the fuck is up with you, man. Uh, we shouldn't be at this point, man. You should be.
Can y'all hear me? You should be trying to get next to the dribble. You know why? Because we putting out dope over here and you can rap. You can wrap your ass off. You can. You can. But I believe this about you. I believe this about Quilly. I believe this about K-Dot and others. Y'all afraid to be great. You niggas afraid to be great, my nigga. Mm-hmm. Afraid to be great. I believe that. You know why I say that? Because you never left the turnpike. You never you never left the turnpike. You uh went up to Queen's Flip and that's just that's that's about it. That's all you did. You didn't put in no work. And um the window closed on you really, really fast. You brought my name up this afternoon thinking we gonna go back to conflict. We aren't. We aren't. Them days is over with, man. That shit was fun. It was fun. You know, we had some viral moments and shit, but everybody's moved on. Except for you. Everybody's moved on except for you. You still look the same. You still in the same position. Um, I don't choose to talk about that shit no more, my nigga. That shit over with, man. I put on a dazzling performance, man. I was en route to where I am right now and shit. You were just somebody that happened to have an encounter with me and shit. Uh, no malice between us. I'm doing great. And uh, you look poor. You still look poor. And uh, I hope that you can get it together if, uh, you know, you want to run with us. If you want to run with us, because that's what it seemed like. It seemed like you want to run with me again and shit. I give you a plea bargain, my nigga. You want to plea? I give out pleas. I give out pleas. Aside from that, you dead in the water, my nigga. You dead in the water. Mikey T dead in the water. I don't know what to say for y'all, man. Um, that uh, that recipe it don't work anymore and shit. Your appearance, your appearance. Um, I ain't never seen a nigga make a white t-shirt look bad. Your appearance alone let us know where you at in life and shit, how well you doing. Um, you probably only had a little bit of time on the clock anyway. You know why? Because your style of music is outdated. Your style of music is outdated. You know what I'm saying? And you can wrap your ass off, but your style of music, your criteria, the bloodthirsty, homicidal, killer gorilla, people ain't checking for that shit no more, my nigga. That shit got burnt out. Too many people got hurt. A lot of people got killed and shit like that. It's a mess. People ain't even supporting that shit no more. Nobody, I don't know where guys like you go and shit, my nigga. I don't, I don't. He do look poor. He look poor. He looked like the punctuation mark. He looked like, he looks like the punctuation mark at the end of the OBH story. He do. He do, he do. He looks, <laughs> y'all, that tickle y'all, huh?